Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today we are going to discuss what is Power BI Report Server and how is it different from Power BI Service. So let's get started. The very first question which comes in our mind, what is Power BI Report Server? Well guys, Power BI Report Server is an on-premise report server with a web portal in which you display and manage reports and KPIs. Along with it come the tools to create Power BI reports, paginated reports, mobile reports and KPIs. Your users can access those reports in different ways, viewing them in a web browser or mobile device or as an email in their inbox. As you can see on my screen, it's a screenshot from Power BI Report Server, which is basically going to act like the same web portal as in case of SQL Server Reporting Services. It is very much similar to the SSRS Report Server. Why do we need it? That's a very important question. So guys, there are many companies around the world who still does not feel safe to put their data on cloud, that is, on cloud services, for example, Azure, Google Cloud, or Amazon Web Services. So in this case, they want to maintain their data on-premise within the walls of their own organization. In that case, if any company is looking for a Power BI solutions, but it should be on-premise, then Power BI Report Server is the best solution for those organizations. Licensing Power BI Report Server. So what kind of license do we need for Power BI Report Server? Power BI Report Server is available through two different licenses. Number one, Power BI Premium. And number two is SQL Server Enterprise Edition with Software Assurance. There are many organizations around the world who are already running on SQL Server Enterprise Edition. So, by paying a bit extra amount, they can get Software Assurance License. And with that, you can also access Power BI Report Server. However, there is another license which is Power BI Premium, which is a dedicated capacity license. With Power BI Premium License, you can create a hybrid deployment mixing cloud and on-premises. If you publish Power BI reports to Power BI report server, you also need a Power BI Pro license. You don't need a Power BI Pro license to view and interact with the Power BI reports on Power BI report server. However, if someone needs to publish those reports on Power BI report server, that user should have a Power BI Pro license. Here, we should also note that for Power BI Premium, Power BI report server is only included with PSQs. That means P1, P2, P3, and P4. It is not included with EMSQs. So always remember this point. Now the question comes, what is web portal? Well guys, many of you have already worked on SQL Server Reporting Services, SSRS, which were introduced in 2005 as a part of SQL Server Services. However, later on, they included in the SQL Server Data Tools and then it's the part of that. And nowadays in the Visual Studio itself, we can use SQL Server Reporting Services. However, in order to access those uh, reports, either we can get directly email subscription or users have to visit on a web-based portal. In case of SQL Server Reporting Services, you can see on my screen, it's the similar kind of web portal. And here we should remember that. In this portal, we can host paginated reports as well as Power BI reports. The entry point of Power BI report server is a secure web portal you can view in any modern browser. Here, you access all your reports and KPIs. In your folders, content is grouped by type, Power BI reports or mobile reports, paginated reports, KPIs and Excel workbooks. Shared datasets and shared data sources are in their own folder to use a building blocks for your reports. Depending on your permissions, you can manage the content in the web portal. You can schedule reports processing, access reports on demand, 
and subscribe to published reports. You can also apply your own custom branding to your web portal. In the corner, you are seeing Power BI logo, but you can also make it your own company logo. Power BI reports. You create Power BI reports, that is with extension .pbix, with the version of Power BI desktop optimized for the report server. Here, you should note that these reports are also being developed in the Power BI desktop, but there is a difference between the those reports that we are developing for Power BI services and also the reports that we are developing for Power BI report server. Both are developing using Power BI desktop, but for both of them, we have different application of Power BI desktop. For Power BI report server, we have an application Power BI desktop optimized for the report server. However, we have Power BI desktop application for Power BI report services. Now question comes, what are paginated reports? I would like to tell you, paginated reports are a part of Power BI premium capacity or Power BI premium license. Paginated reports have the extension .rdl which is the same extension for the SSRS reports. That is report definition language. These reports are document style reports with visualization in which tables expand horizontally and vertically to display all their data. Continuing from page to page as needed, they are great for generating fixed layout, pixel perfect documents, optimizing for printing such as PDF and Word files. You can create paginated reports using Report Builder or Report Designer in SQL Server data tools. Reporting services mobile reports. Well guys, mobile reports connect to on-premise data and have respective layout that adapts to different devices and the different ways you hold them. You create them with SQL Server Mobile Report Publisher. Now let's discuss what are the differences between the Power BI Report Server and Power BI Service. As I already told you, Power BI Service is based on the cloud services. However, Power BI Report Server can be hybrid. It can be completely on-premise or it can be a combination of on-cloud. If you are opting for the Power BI Report Server with premium license, then you have an opportunity or you can shift all of your data to cloud in future if you want to. So let's see the major differences between these two. In terms of deployment, for Power BI Report Server, all the data is on either their hosted cloud or on-premise. However, in Power BI Services, it's on cloud. If we talk about the source data, for Power BI Report Server, it's either gonna be on cloud or on-premises. However, in Power BI services, source data can also be on your cloud or on-premises. So you can access your data no matter where it is. Licenses. We have already discussed this part. For Power BI Report Server, you need either a premium license or SQL Server Enterprise Edition with software assurance. However, in case of Power BI services, we have Power BI Pro, Power BI Premium, and also the latest announced license by Microsoft that is Power BI Premium per user. If we talk about the updates that are coming to Power BI Report Server and Power BI Services, so Power BI Services gets every month. However, Power BI Report Server you will get three times a year. That is January, May and September. Now let's discuss some of the common features in between Power BI Report Server as well as Power BI Service. They both are used to create reports in Power BI Desktop. However, point should be noted down, both applications are different. Both can connect to services like Salesforce. Both can work on paginated reports. Both have the mobile applications and also both have subscription for paginated reports. However, you should remember this, paginated reports are only gonna come with the premium license, not with the Power BI Pro license. You can implement role level security at both places, that is Power BI Report Server as well as Power BI Service. And also you have Power BI Visuals available for both the services. If we talk about the differences between them, there are a lot of differences, but the major difference comes between the Q&A, Quick Insights, which are the AI based features in Power BI service. And also if somebody wants to analyze the reports in Excel that is not available at Power BI report server. 
then the main features of power bi is the dashboard which is also not available right now for the power bi report server also if i talked about if someone is willing to use r and python scripts for you know visualizing the data or cleaning the data and all those those are also missing except that there are lots of other things which i have uh, write, write it down over here for you you can go through that and I'm also going to provide you the link in the description section. You can go there and you can check the exact differences and also the related links are available over there. So please stay tuned for the latest updates. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel, like the video and share the video. Mm -hmm.